the, the dough in this square slice is really unmatched in New York City right now. And you're gonna see why. You're gonna hear why too with that crunch. Look at this. So we're here at Philomena's in Sunnyside, Queens. Man, this place is really should be on your radar if you're looking for amazing pizza in New York City right now. They're doing classic New York slices, personal pies, even have vegan slices. The, the dough in this square slice is really unmatched in New York City right now. And you're gonna see why. You're gonna hear why too with that crunch. Oh, I love it, yeah. We love it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Start off here with a square that's uh, topped with chickpea puree, broccoli rob, and sliced garlic. Oh, look at that, I'm so excited. Let's take a bite. Wow, such a special slice. Like the flavor of the dough, you can get it. It's really crispy, airy, and light. Then you get that chickpea puree, so it's kind of like a hummus without the tahini, but then you have that pleasant bitterness of broccoli rabe. If you love broccoli rabe, you're gonna go nuts for this slice. And you have that sliced garlic. And then what's also nice, take a little of this crushed red pepper, throw a little of that on there. Another one of the vegan slices here is the potato slice. So this is a special one for Dave, the pizziolo and owner of Philomena's because this is a family recipe. So you can see there's a very interesting look of this. You have all these sliced potatoes on top and you have a uh, dusting of oregano. So there's no sauce or cheese in this one. That beautiful square dough right here. And the bottom is a huge gap in it right there. Really interesting. It's carb on carb. Let's take a bite. Mm. It's very unique. As oregano lovers, you know, we're all about that oregano, but this really just tastes like a nice, like comforting fall kind of dish with the potato and the oregano on there and the herbs. It's really nice. It's really some of the airiest pizza I've ever eaten in New York City. Wow. new slice here. It's actually the first slice of all these that we're having today. We haven't tried yet. It's the white slice. So there's no sauce. There's just three types of cheese. We have the mozzarella, the ricotta, and the parmesan, which is grated on top fresh. It looks really good there. Look at that crust. It looks awesome. Let's take a bite. Mm. In the mix of the three cheeses, you get the tangy from the parmesan, that little funk. You have that creamy ricotta, and you have the mozzarella going there too. Wow. And this, this crust is just so amazing. I have to keep taking bites on the side. Mm. I mean, it's, 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 it's not like, a high-end restaurant, so. It's just tomato. <laughs> wow. Never <laughs> seen this. This is crazy. Oh, man. We have this beauty right here, the New York style slice. The pizza we grew up on, but this one is taken to a whole nother level. So the dough here is fermented for three days. So that's something really special here. You have first the sauce, then the cheese, classic New York style, but you make sure when you come here, you ask for it this way. You gotta get that grated Parmesan and the basil and that drizzle of olive oil on it. It takes it to another level. I'm so excited, I can't even talk about it anymore. Let's just take a bite. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is a special slice right here. When you get that bite with the basil, you get that olive oil, you get that Parmesan, you get this phenomenal crust, you get the perfect balance of that slightly tangy sauce, and then you get the mozzarella perfectly layered on there. It's really got that perfect balance. So like the pizza I grew up eating had that nice balance of sauce and cheese, this has it. Then you have that basil and everything else on it. And then you have that really airy crust. You have that whole structure there. It's very light. Let's take a bite even from the side. Wow. Oh man, I got the apron coming on. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. All right, now you have Whoa. Whoa. That's official. Oh, this is fun. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, understand. Cool. Cool. Wow. Whoa, that's slick. Look how bubbly that is. I put in, uh, so this is uh, the fermented bigger with my usual uh, square dough. Put in some starter in there so you can actually see some of the, the, the little bubbles over there. 
They're really yeah. tiny ones. That's, that's the, the sourdough. So the flavor should be like pretty awesome on this one. Ah, Whoa. I smell that sourdough right there. Yeah. That's what you that's do. That's sure. Yeah. Dusting. So when I drape it over my arm, you're gonna see how like oh. how liquidy this is. Oh yeah. The, the New York sauce. Sauce. Yeah, it's all just um, basil. We, we use the good Sicilian oregano. Nothing but the best. Looks so fresh. Like. Okay, cool. Yes. That was it. Wow. It. See you later, pizza. Look at that. That's it. Wow. During that, yeah. I, I couldn't get myself apart from you guys. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Literally. Look at it on this side. It's got heat coming off of that thing. Yeah. Look at all that fresh tomato and the onion. The onion's really interesting. I'm very excited to try that. So delicious. This is a little sounding way right here. Can I smell that? Ah, man. What a beauty. Did you eat it? Yes. All right. <laughs> so we've been dying to try this pizza pala. You can only get it sometimes here at Philomena. This dough was bubbling. Look how fresh all these ingredients are. Let's take a bite. I can't even contain myself anymore. Mmm. Oh, you get those lovely flavors of a classic margarita. So you have the fior de latte, the, the fresh mozzarella here. You have all that basil. He put tons of basil. The fresh tomatoes, the heirlooms. You have all these different colors of tomato. The onions. The onions really get that nice crunch. The star of the show is that dough. And I'm dying to try that dough. I gotta take a bite of it by itself. Hmm. That's some special dough right there. A little sourdough tang, a little chewiness. Wow. Perfect for all those classic flavors with that fresh mozzarella. You got the fresh basil, the fresh tomato, the onion. Man. Not something you can easily find in New York City. Thankfully, you can just come to Queens here, Sunnyside, Philomena's. If you're lucky, it's a special, it's a special kind of pie, so. Check them out on Instagram. They'll post about when it'll be out. Gotta have it. Yeah, I started making pizza when I was a kid. I was uh, a sous chef um, at, my, at my house when I was a kid for my mom. And I was always in the kitchen with my mom. And uh, she always used to put a little extra love into details into the pizza. And uh, one thing that she had in the refrigerator, I never knew what it was. It was really stinky stuff. Then later on, I knew it was a starter. And you know, certain times it stings, sometimes it smells like acid, sometimes it smells like uh, floral. So that, she had this in the kitchen the entire time. It was, it, was, it was pretty wild. Little did I know I'd be, I'd be married to mine. But, uh, but yeah, when I was a kid, I was always with my mom and I was ma made pizza with her all the time. Well, I wanted to make something that people could digest. You know, yes. over the course of time, everyone's gluten-free and everyone has these problems with the gluten. My mom actually had a problem with uh, being uh, gluten intolerant. And uh, I tried to do gluten-free baking, and, but I really wanted to go down to the basics of it. So if you really take away how people make pizza now and go back to the old style, that's why I have an old style slice, um, or a classic slice, uh, I'm doing it the way they used to do it, with a natural yeast and, and the slow fermentation so that way you could eat it and digest it without it being stuck right over here in your chest. Because I used to work at a pizzeria where they'd roll the dough in the morning and then bake it at nighttime and you'd eat the pizza and you feel, literally, you feel like the triangles going, going down, you, gotta, you, can't, you can't push it down, but you feel it. 12 hours later, after you eat the pizza, you still can't digest it. And that was one of the big things for me. I wanted to have something for people to enjoy, to digest it. I mean, it sounds kind of corny, you know, like when you think about pizza, yeah, you could easily uh, digest it, not a problem, but, but in the, I wanted everyone to eat my pizza. And along with the fermentation of it, the flavors come out and really taste the crust and the, and the dough and, and everything about what I put into it. Um, and that was important to me.
Paulie G is a new school legend in the pizza world. He started making pizza in his backyard for friends and family, and then he eventually quit his job doing IT work and opened up a spot right over here called Paulie G's. It's more of a Neapolitan style sit down spot. And then he also wanted to open up a place that does New York style slices, but with his own twist. So he opened up Paulie G's Slice Shop two years ago. And man, he's, he's doing some crazy innovations and we're so excited to show them to you. Oh. We got five slices. I'm just gonna load up today. Three of them are square slices, and the special thing about the square slices here, they have a sesame seed crust on the bottom. We love that. So they call it the Freddy Prince because there's a place in Whitestone, Queens called Freddy's. They have a sesame seed crust on the bottom, and then you have Prince Street Pizza in Manhattan. They have the sauce on top, so it's kind of a mix of both worlds, a little twist. Yeah, here's the classic Freddy Prince right here. It looks beautiful. You have the sauce on top, you have the Parmesan on top too. What's first is cheese, sauce, Parmesan on top, sesame seed bottom. Can't talk about it anymore, spicy. Mm. Sesame seed crust has such a good flavor. It's like those sesame seed breadsticks on the bottom with a very crunchy bottom of the crust. You can really taste the sauce from the sauce on top, which we love. You have that mozzarella there. Mm. That little parmesan on the top. This is a great slice. More places need to start using sesame seed on the bottom, I'm telling you. This one's a really unique one right here. It's called the Sake Mountain Way. Why is that? They actually put sake in here with cream and tomato for that sauce. It sounds too intriguing to not try. And now it's a sesame seed bottom too, so why not? Let's take a bite. Mm. Just actually tastes kind of like a vodka sauce slice, but with the sake, you could definitely taste the difference of the sake. It's really interesting. I like that little twist. A lot of places do vodka sauce, the sake and the cream, really nice. Mm. This bad boy right here is the Freddy Prince also but topped with pepperoni. This is not your average pepperoni, not that sad flat pepperoni. This is the good stuff. It's the, um, it's the Roni cups, the cup and sharp pepperoni. It's the good stuff. Let's take a bite. Look at all that oil pooling up in that pepperoni. Oh, let's take a bite. Mm. That's that little spicy kick. Oh man. This one's really over the top, but it's over the top delicious too. I just love the nuttiness of those sesame seeds on the bottom. It just adds, it takes the flavor to a whole nother level. It's so good. Mm. Now we switch it up a little bit. We got the triangle slice now. So this one's called the Mutz. So this one has the mozzarella. This is a white slice, no sauce. Let's fold it up. Very thin crust. I like the way that bottom is cooked. Really thin on this one. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow, very garlicky. If you're a big fan of garlic like we are, you will love this slice. You don't miss the sauce in this one. It's a nice change of pace. As much as we love sauce, a good white slice like this. We don't always love white slices, but this is one of the better ones I've tried. And then we have our last slice. We're doing a pizza feast here. Bro, this one's called the Hellboy because Paulie G, his other restaurant, his first one, which is a full-scale sit-down Neapolitan pizzeria, his very popular one is called the Hellboy. So what makes it called the Hellboy is the Mike's Hot Honey. It's a spicy honey that drizzles on top. It's got that beautiful uh, roni cup pepperoni here too. This looks great. It's a huge slice. Let's fold that up. Take a bite. Mmm. That sweet and savory combination you get from that pepperoni, that honey, and that little bit of spiciness from the hot honey there. Oh, it's so good. And this one's really airy crust. That is crazy crunchy. Mm. Hold on. Two more. <laughs> Oh, it smells unbelievable, all that basil. Look at that fresh, freshly <laughs> grated Parmesan. And under here, you may not see it under all the burrata and olive oil and the basil, but there is prosciutto right there. Lift, lift that up a little bit. Fresh prosciutto, oh man. Oh, look at that, that whole structure there. So that's a sign of a really good dough. 